Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and I am doing a, an unboxing. So, give you a kind of a hint here. Okay, at Big Five in Rancho Bernardo, I went and picked up this. You see there, Russian M9130. Basically, for those of you who don't know, well, the title of the video, well, I don't know if I'll, t I don't know what I'll title this yet, but uh, I ended up getting a Russian Army Issue Rifle, Surplus Rifle, the Mosin Nagant M9130. So I'm going to unbox that, and here it is. Okay, so got the box here. Let me show this to you. There you see the caliber 7.62 by 54R uh, Century International. The rifle is a 9130. And I will. And there's a lock on here. It, it's a requirement that if I purchase a rifle, I have to purchase a lock, even though it's plainly it's on here. But I don't know. That's just their rule. So anyway, I've. Of course, I inspected the gun before I purchased it, so I know that it's already full of Cosmoline. So I'm going to put these gloves on to get this thing out. So inside the box, it came with a few goodies. So comes with a leather uh, ammo pouch. Here's an additional uh, bag, and it, ugh, God, it's Cosmoline all, ugh. Well, there's, a, there's another ammo pouch in here, a tool kit. Well, let me just go ahead and open it. So, get my handy dandy knife that I did a review on. Okay, K-Bar. All right. All right, this is gross full of cosmoline all right so oh here's a it's a different looking ammo pouch I guess this is what the tool kit and stuff will come in as well so it's it's sectioned in half it is a you know one top as opposed to this one this one is two top okay so I'll figure that out in a bit but looks like I got myself a tool kit which contains probably the usual stuff. Let me dump it out here real quick. Okay. These gloves are kind of clumsy. Of course, the pouch is in really good shape. I think some of the other videos I've seen, they're like canvas pouches or, you know, something like that. But this is pretty decent. Okay, looks like there's the muzzle cap. Okay, put this over to protect the muzzle. This is this grooved tool is the tool where you wrap patches around and it, it attaches to the cleaning rod, which is on the end of the rifle. This is the T handle for this piece that is attached to the uh, cleaning rod as well. So stick it on there like that just like a little T wrench okay pretty simple and this is the all-purpose tool uh, I remember seeing videos on this I forgot exactly what it does I do know that it is a screwdriver you know right here because there there's some takedown parts uh, uh, for the screwdriver and gosh I forgot what these grooves are for but you know I'll figure it out I know that there's a specific purpose for it all right, so also comes with a Cosmoline covered strap in really good condition. This leather is real nice. And the canvas strap is not frayed. It doesn't look like it has any kind of rot at all. The buckle's in pretty good shape. And it's got a little, little bit of pitting. But that's not, you know, 
guess what I'll clean it and fix it up with with ballastol. So this is in really good shape. And of course, here you can really see this. See all that gunky stuff? That's Cosmoline. This is an oil can, an oiler can. I guess this is, it's, it's compartmentalized into two halves, which is why there's two tops on it. Kind of looks like a V-twin engine. Um, and I don't know what these symbols mean, but um, one, you know, I guess there's different kinds of solvent that you put in here. Maybe an oil and maybe a cleaner. You know, I'm not sure, but that, ugh, that thing is covered with Cosmoline. Okay, now for the actual gun. I know some of you guys that have this are probably saying there is something missing, and you're right, but I'll get that out in a second. Oh, oh, oh. Voila! I'll go from front to end, uh, front to butt. Okay, here's cleaning rod, all right? Front sight. Actually, wow, the, the end of the barrel is really nice. You know, I'll have to do closer inspection of it, but there's no pitting. It doesn't look like it's been driven into the ground or anything like that, okay? Um, I also took note of this. One of the attachments for the, um, for the um, sling, it does have the metal pieces on both sides so it is complete okay um, this thing is covered in cosmoline but my goodness the stock is in really good shape Oop, sorry the stock is in really good shape here okay and you know it's really good here and notice here also the metal um, the metal borders are on both sides of the rifle. The other ones I looked at, there there's like one piece missing, one side missing, or both sides missing. But boy, I tell you, this stock is in really good shape. Metal butt butt plate. Um, you know, and if I don't know how detailed you can see it, but you can see that this thing is covered in cosmoline. Now here's the surprising part. This is what sold me to get this gun. Okay, or this this particular one that I inspected. Okay, check this out. Well, that wasn't very good. Oh, I got duh, I got it the wrong way. Okay, check this out. Did you see that? The bolt is very fluid, and it's not all. You know, I'm not I'm not an expert on this, but you know, all the other rifles that I inspected and that I've heard about say that the there's problems with the bolt being stuck or ve being very stiff, and all of them, you know, when I went and checked it out, I'd have to, you know, pull it, you know, and kind of force it to move. This one. As soon as I pulled it and I was adjusting the rifle because it was slipping out of my hand, the bolt just fell back like that. And I go, oh shoot, I thought it was going to break. But it seems like it just happens to be really smooth. I guess I'll figure it out when I f clean it up and put it back together and fire it. But, but I t I'm telling you, and, and you know, and it's not like it's, you know, loose and crappy. I mean, it's solid, okay? I mean, look at that thing. That's nice. And, you know, and again, check it out. Filled with Cosmoline. Okay, so imagine what this action is going to be like when I actually clean it up. Who knows? You know, it may be, maybe it'll be too loose and maybe there's something wrong with it. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned right now, this thing is very nice. I mean, it's, you know, unfortunately, I could not get the hex receiver. I've got the rounded receiver here. And, uh, you know, um, the serial number stamped on here, which is nice. But, you know, um, all the other pieces, it's, <laughs> looks like it was probably shaved down and 
it was uh, engraved on here with an engraving gun with the same numbers just like over here on the bottom here and uh, same thing right there okay all the numbers match but this is the only one that's actually stamped the rest of them are you know written in with an engraving gun so pretty sure the, these aren't you know the original same pieces now that I think about it but you know this thing doesn't really matter to me because you know you can remove this bottom plate I mean this could be the original piece right here this magazine but the bottom plate of this magazine this is interchangeable you know I found that out when I was watching videos on how to clean this thing so I don't think that really matters I don't think this really matters because it's just a butt plate you know I guess what really matters is the receiver and the bolt and you know I don't think it's I, I don't think this bolt is original but it seems to cycle real well so anyway oh let me forgot about this part the last part of the box what's inside the box probably not a good idea to stick my hand in front and that's because this is the last piece hmm what can be inside don't know but let's find out oh Oh, God, this thing's covered in Cosmoline, too. I mean, well, I guess I should have expected that. But, anyway. Just making a complete mess because I can't seem to get this out right. Aha! The bayonet. Well, I don't know if this will actually fit on the gun, but I'm going to try it. I've heard that, you know, there, there are times when the bayonet does not fit on the gun properly. Ooh, and look, the I guess there's a, a push button here. And it actually works. Not too bad. Well, I guess I'll figure out, you know, if this thing works or not, but take a look at this thing. It's not your typical blade bayonet. This is a diamond pattern, you know, cross section. And uh, supposedly these bayonets uh are well not only are they more sturdy because you know it's it's basically four bladed instead of two which means it's not going to bend one way or the other like a you know like a regular two blade would um, and being that it's diamond shaped you don't have a clean entry and exit wound uh, it's going to be diamond shaped so you know I guess supposedly that that delivers a more um, uh, telling blow or a lethal blow um, but uh, you know oh piece of history here all right well that's it that's it for the unboxing so I'm gonna you know clean this thing up oh I'm gonna clean this thing up and uh, you know I'm excited to get this thing you know put together so uh, before I shut this off I don't want to get Cosmoline all over my computer so I'll take this these gloves off and uh, that's it Mosin Nagant M9130 the unboxing um, this is a 1942 uh, version of this rifle and uh, thank you for watching talk to you later bye